I just got back from a trip from Logies. Very exciting. It's an awesome place. All types of different plants. So many, so many, so many different plants. Maybe in the future I'll actually do a video of me walking through it. But there are so many, it would have taken over an hour, and I just don't have the video processing time for that. But anyway, I thought I would just show you what I brought back from Logis. I got four plants back. I'm going to start off with the At Last Rose. Now, I'm really excited about this rose. I'm a little bit concerned about how I'm going to overwinter it. But I'll figure that out when winter comes. Anyway, I'm definitely replanting this because it's very top heavy. And it's slightly breezy here. I guess I'll talk about this one next. I also just lost most of its dirt. Sorry. This is a Meyer lemon. Well, I think Logi is really proud of is their Meyer lemon. It's supposed to make a somewhat large, very thin lemon. It's supposed to be really tasty. I'm excited. I've always wanted to get one of these. I'm going to have to figure out, you know, getting a new pot. I'm going to go on a, uh, a Home Depot run today. It's some um, citrus, citrus soil and get a new terracotta pot. Help weigh it down a bit. It's apparently it likes falling over. Most of the dirt is now over there. I'm just glad everyone got to watch me do that with my amazing skills. It's really cool. It's mostly very pest resistant. It actually smells amazing, but like not overwhelming the entire backyard amazing, unless there's a bunch of them, I would assume. I really like it. I was really excited to see it in the catalog. I was really excited to see it when I got there. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna put this over there so it doesn't blow away either. Now next up, I have my Oxalis plant. I also always want to get this. I am hoping I can keep it alive. Because I'm really excited about this. I think it looks beautiful. And it has... I'm not sure how well you can see. Heart-shaped flap, not flowers, leaves. I just really love foliage plants. Because, you know, flowers come and go. You're not always sure when they're gonna be here. Foilage plants are always pretty, in my opinion. And then last but not least, a Saracenia plant. Uh, it's a type of pitcher plant type thing for those not in the carnivorous plant world. I'm going to get a larger 
a plastic container to get this guy and eventually in my Venus flytrap. I already have a soil for it, so I'm really excited. That'll be another potting video. Everything that I bought will be repotted. I was debating whether or not to repot my lemon, but I am now obviously going to repot it since it went upside down. I also have to repot my larger lime, well, family lime tree into a much larger pot. The lime tree my family has had since before I was born. It's been in the same pot for since before I was born. And it's really root bound and we need to do something about it. My father bought this pot a couple years ago in order to use. So we'll be transplanting that. And this guy gives us limes for the lime tree. Very fun. So I got some pictures of the plants. I'll probably be showing them now. There were several other carnivorous plants I really wanted to get but did not. Uh, firstly being the sensitive plant. When you touch it, it, it moves. It's really cool. Secondly being the frizzle sizzle plant. It quails up and it's really cool looking. Uh, those are both really cool plants I wanted to get. And here are some other pictures. Um, I also wanted to get a type of cherry, a container cherry, but I did not. Mostly because my limited room. But maybe next year when I go back, I'll get that. I also wanted to get some raspberries plants, but I think it's a bit late in the season to put them out. And I'm not sure if I got pictures of that, but I might have. going to Logies. We didn't spend a huge amount of time there. It was really fun. It was just we just sat in the car for three and a half hours to get there because it was a huge traffic accident. It was a two and a half hour drive so yeah. Anyway we had also packed a uh, picnic for us and we found a local park. We went there and picnicked and then we went on a bit of a nature walk. Uh, I'm going to show you the pictures I took on the nature walk. I also brought my, my fancy fancy camera and got some really cool stuff. I found a really weird looking caterpillar and a garter snake.
So the Meyer lemon and the rose are going to be outside. Um, mostly because I'm going to move them in in the winter. We're keeping them outside most of the time in the year. Um, these guys are going in my room. Mostly because I already have the Venus flytrap up there. I'm going to move this in with that. And this guy's going to get it, its own pot. I, I read all the descriptions after I got back to make sure I knew how to take care of them. See how that goes. I have kumquats and these are seeds. It's not the variety I want, but it's the only thing I have, so we'll see. Um, I'll probably do another video on that if they actually germinate. Right now it's kind of up in the air. But anyway, I went to Logies. Oh, and my there went with my friend. Well, I'm gonna give a little bit of a panel shot of they got. They're big camera size, so they didn't want to talk about it. to continue seeing my plants and 